Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm doing my one month follow up on my Top Cider Mini. And I think, you know, I didn't think this day would come, but I feel like we've got a new uh, champion or a new, um, whatever you want to call it, my new favorite wallet. So for years, the Franklin has been my go-to wallet. It's kind of been like, been like my benchmark. Every wallet I get, I compare to this to see if I like it better. So probably for the last three years, this has been, and this, honestly, the thin fin is really like, I mean, you can put it in the same bucket because it's, I mean, it's almost the identical wallet. Um, the edge it has, obviously, it's a little bit thinner and smaller, but, you know, you don't have that strap, so it kind of doesn't look as nice, but... Obviously, that's beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I, these have been my go-to wallets for quite some time, and to the point where I actually, you know, for a while stopped looking at wallets because I've accepted that these are my favorite ones. But recently decided to browse OpenSea Leather, and I realized that he launched kind of a whole mini line to shrink his existing wallets, and that's how I got this. Uh, Top Sider Mini, um, as it's called, uh, Gun Deck Mini Top Sider, whatever you want to call it, and it's Kangaroo Leather, and I gotta say, this is my new favorite wallet. I am just impressed how light and thin this thing is. Now, comparing it to the Finnegan, it is um, a little bit smaller in capacity. Um, I had to give up, so I still carry everything I normally did, but I always like to carry this kind of card knife, and unfortunately with this one, there is, there. I mean, I could probably squeeze it in, but it's not like, it doesn't fit comfortably. So if I try to get it in there, yeah, you can see it's, I mean, it's stuck. It's going to be way too packed in there. Where in the, uh, let me get all my cards out, where if we go into the mini Franklin, or the either one, it fits with kind of room to spare. So this is my normal wallet load and I can still put this one in there and it, you know, still fills. So you lose a little bit of capacity compared to the Franklin, but in exchange, what you get is obviously a much lighter, thinner type of footprint and organization. So that's probably my favorite thing is that, that kind of won me over is that you have the ability now to you know, keep stuff in the back, but then also keep a few stuff in the front. So that makes it quickly to get your credit cards out or your ID. This extra organization just adds that little extra touch. And then you can, you know, if you if needed to, you could probably even put one in here if you need like, like a quick access one. So if you need something that kind of quickly, you can put something in there, pull it out. So I, I do that with my ID. Like if you're going somewhere where you got to present your ID and there's a line and you do want to be kind of fumbling with your wallet after I show my ID or whatever, you can just stick it in here, put it back in your wallet, and it's still, you know, still in there. You can readjust it later, but that kind of gives it a quick little extra, you know, maneuverability, which I think I show this in my other videos too, but I've done this with this one too. So if I have to quickly put a card away, I'll just slide it in here as well. So it's got that functionality too. That's actually why I like that strap where with this one, you don't have that quick kind of quick draw or whatever you want to call it. But overall, um, the wallet has been great. I will say that one con of this wallet is because it's so light, you don't feel it in your pocket. Honestly, this thing disappears. Like you'll forget what pocket you have it in. And the biggest issue I have with this wallet is I keep losing it in my house. It's so light, I don't feel it when I have it. So if it falls out of my pocket, I won't feel it either. And that's actually what's happened a few times is it fell out of my pocket, like on the couch or something. Never felt it. And then like a day or two later, I'm trying to figure out where's my wallet. I'm checking on my pants pockets and on a mission to find it. So it's almost, you know, it's almost too light. I would say it's, you know, that's how, that's how light it is. You really, it doesn't even feel like you have a wallet. It just feels like you have your cards, you know, you know, put a, put a rubber band around your cards and you kind of get the same feeling. So very light leather, uh, very, this kangaroo leather is so thin. It just kind of hugs everything and it just makes for a very, very minimalist wallet. So this is my new favorite 
wallet that I'm going to kind of uh, probably carry as my, you know, daily driver. Um, I'm going to have to sadly retire my Finnegan's as the uh, go-to wallets. Now, the other wallet I got was the gun deck. But as I mentioned in my previous video, um, it's kind of tight. So I've left it fully loaded for about a month just to kind of help break it in. And I wanted to kind of focus on this one. So this is about a month of usage. So you can see kind of, it doesn't quite, the kangaroo leather is a little almost tougher. So it doesn't quite kind of take on a patina like kind of this uh, Botero leather, which is much softer and kind of waxy. So this kind of takes on a lot of scuffs and scratches. It kind of you know darkens on the corners where this one's a little bit more uh, I want to say kind of harder, even though it's thinner. It kind of similar to this one. This is, a, I think, like a brittle or bridal leather. Same thing. This one does not take on um, scuffs as easily as that Botero leather. So it's a little harder. But you can kind of see here, it doesn't quite have a whole lot of um, signs of usage. But then again, it hasn't been that long. So we'll see kind of what happens, you know, over the next several months or year to see if it kind of starts kind of darkening and, you know, getting a nice kind of patina on it. But that is really my follow-up on the Top Cider Mini. It's an um, awesome wallet, very happy with it. Um, part of me now wants to get another one in like the more traditional leather, just to kind of see what that would feel like. Um, but this is, I'm like amazed how, <laughs> how light and thin this is. Um, you know, very good. But next, I will be switching to the Gun Deck Mini. So I've left this kind of fully loaded here for the last time I made the video and I haven't really touched it since to kind of help loosen up a little bit. And I am gonna now officially make the switch to this one. I love this color, you know, it's a very cool color. And sadly, I'm gonna have to put this one aside. I'm gonna miss using this one, but we will give this one a try to see how it compares to its kind of larger sibling which i do like as well but it's just a little too big um but we're gonna go ahead and switch to this one so that is really it on the top cider mini um i give it two thumbs up if you haven't tried it and you're looking for a minimalist wallet uh you'll be very happy with it if you love them if you love the franklin i think you might like this one just a little bit better um like i said that extra pocket does help kind of you know organize your cards better and the footprint is just amazing. Uh, you know, part of me almost wishes it was a little heavier, to be honest, because, like I said, I do lose it too often. It's kind of getting annoying that it disappears on me, or sometimes I forget to bring it because I'm so you don't feel it. You know, I, I'll put it in my pocket, and you know, usually you feel your wall, but this one is just very feather light. Anyway, thanks for tuning in on this quick update. Awesome wallet. We're gonna switch now to the Gun Deck Mini. So I will come back in a month or so and see how this one performs and who knows maybe maybe I'll change my mind again but this is this is this will be a tough one to beat. All right, have a good week and I'll talk to you guys later.